uh, the following day after the concert, I went back to the, the club and the same guy, who was, who was Louis, was playing with another band. So the drummer of that band asked me if I wanted to play one tune and I said, of course. So I sat in and we played the first tune and Louis sounded so great that I told the drummer, you keep sitting there, I'm gonna play the whole <laughs> set with this guy. This is a CD that I was avoiding to do for you know the last um, 21 years. Um, I was offered to do a, a Latin CD. Um, I think when I was 19 years old, and I always, you know, I never wanted to do that kind of project because I didn't want to be uh, like caged into a particular category, you know. deciding to make the, um, the fancy project is because after many times of uh, Jerry Tickens, who is the head of the uh, Chris Cross label, uh, asking me to do a project like that. Uh, so one night I was just sitting at home and I'm thinking, I live in New York City, I have access to all these great musicians, many of them who actually have played in some of the records that I used to listen to. When I started my career in music, so I just say, hey, why not? What, why, why, what is stopping me from making this record? So as a result, I just decided to make the record, and here you have it. And hopefully, there there will be more uh, in the future. And just be on the lookout. The challenges that I found with this project mainly had to do with just the rhythmic integration of my concept into some of the other um, musicians' concepts that were um, on this date. You know, they, you know, some of these cats on this session have been ingrained in the music world for you know many more decades than I have, and they they've been solid with their rhythmic concepts since you know before I even picked up a saxophone and so you know it was it was for me it was a unique opportunity to you know play with musicians that I haven't you know these types of musicians that I haven't had the opportunity to maybe play with in the past and and hear you know rhythmic concepts from a, like a different approach than maybe what I'm normally used to hearing but they they were amazing and it, it was it was challenge but rewarding for me to try to fit you know my concept in with theirs and make it work for sure that's cool that works Ignacio Berroa, who I've known for a good 
25 years, ever since he came from Cuba. I, we, I, I was one of the first persons that, that met and got him some gigs and, and helped him get some drums and all nice. that kind of stuff, you know, when he first got here. And uh, he was always like an amazing talent, you know. He was talented in Cuba, playing with, with, with very high, highly uh, skilled bands from over there. You know, then all of a sudden, boom, here he appears in New York and just added so much color to, to the yeah. New York scene as far as drum is concerned. Right. Yeah, we're, we're old friends. Oh, beautiful. When we greet each other, we say, Coco y piña. <laughs> Coco y piña means coconut and pineapple. <laughs> would be nice because it would be like a nice contrast. So then when, when, when we start playing, um, we go into these changes. Ambas, yes. it's my, my first time the recording with, the, with Luis. Yeah, because I, I play with him in different projects, like in Arimaes and other projects, but it's my, my first time. I'm so glad. I yes. say. That, that's very special because it has different, different like, uh, Different sound and special sounds, because, for example, Berroa has you know his own sound. Luis Perdomo is amazing. Andy Gonzalez, you know, saxophonist Mark. Um, you know, all together it's like a very special sound. a major star as far as playing piano. I don't know if I can afford him on my next show. Oh, <laughs>